afternoon, everyone. I see that Mr. Granger has emerged from his somnambulistic trance to make a statement today about massive and pervasive suffering of Guyanese due to the flood. Unfortunately, Mr. Granger has to answer for the suffering of the Guyanese people for the entire period of the five years uh, when he was the president of this country. The flood began, and it is a natural disaster that has affected many families, affected the economy, affected agriculture and mining sectors, affected people's contracts. It is a natural disaster, and to try to make political mileage out of it is unacceptable. However, Mr. Granger needs to be reminded that during the five years, all Guyanese suffered. 30,000 people lost their jobs. Uh, he imposed 200 odd new taxes. The health sector was suffering from tremendous shortages of drugs and basic supplies. The housing program had diminished from 10,000 to less than 3,000 awardees for house lots in that period. But, you know, typical to, to the way in which Mr. Grange has operated, how does he wish to solve the problem, which he claims that the majority of Guyanese people are suffering massively as a result of the flood? And his answer is absolutely, absolutely predictable. What is it? Another commission of inquiry, which was his usual answer to any of the problems that occurred during his reign. And so to put out a call for a commission of inquiry to examine why the government has or has not done anything in the face of, instead of offering to assist as a former president, farmers and miners who are still affected by the flood and will be affected for quite a while. But also what he says is a damning attack on the Civil Defense Commission and the various actors in civil society and government who tried in the first phase of the flood to protect life and health of our people. 51,578 households were affected by the flood. That is 25% of all households in Guyana were impacted. This flood was different than 2005 in that all 10 regions were affected. 62,574 hampers were distributed by the CDC and the number of NGOs to our people. 258 people are in shelters up to now. Nine shelters alone are in Region 10 because he referred to Kokwani and areas of Region 10. 25,440 clean, uh, cleaning uh, uh, items were distributed. Mr. Granger, unfortunately, is ignoring the plight of our people and maybe not trying to help the farmers, but instead, as usual, trying to use it in a cheap way to attack what is a natural disaster in which people have been assisted. We have moved from the direct areas of flood. There are still areas that have water, unfortunately. Areas like Marakabai and areas like Kokwani and so on are still impacted negatively. But the fact is that in the period of this natural disaster, the mobilization and support by the government, by the president himself, by ministers in the field trying to rectify the problems, trying to see how to pump the water out of areas and to reduce the damage and the impact on people's safety. The first instance, the first phase, was to protect lives and, and health and ensure people were safe. This phase now, we're beginning, is recovery. He makes a comment about Sedema. Sedema has come on board to help us. Gan is part of the Sedema in terms of disaster and emergency preparations and response. They have done an assessment going region by region, and as far as I know, they have completed the assessment. That will guide the government in the expenditure to do with the $10 billion that we had approved in Parliament. It's unfortunate that Mr. Granger continues to live in a cocoon and to live in a never-never in a land 
not knowing what's going on in our society. Recovery is going to take time. We have to do infrastructural uh, changes, and therefore, there's a lot of work to be done now, a different type of work that has to be done, which will be more painstaking. In many parts of the interior, farms have been damaged, and the Amerindian villages are dependent on cassava for their, their livelihood and also for their diets. So that there's a lot of work to be done. Instead of Mr. Bay Granger calling for a commission inquiry, he should be looking at in what way can he, as a former president, uh, support the efforts of the Civil Defense Commission, the National Task Force, and the President of Guyana in protecting our people, making sure their health is safe, particularly in a, in a COVID pandemic, and being able to make sure we recover as quickly as possible from this natural disaster. And as I'm on it, we wish to extend our support and our concern and our heartfelt concern to the Barbadian people who have just suffered a hurricane, another natural disaster in the region after 65 years of having no hurricane. Thank you.